Hello everyone, my name is Abby Bliss White and welcome to my channel. I am so excited because we have got new Victoria Beckham in the house, her new posh lipsticks. So I thought what we would do today is to have a little fun trying on some lipsticks. I'm gonna share with you the colors that I picked up as well as share information about the formula, how they wore on the lips and how they feel. So if you are interested in learning a little bit more about the new posh lipsticks from Victoria Beckham, then let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, we have Victoria Beckham in the house. I got three different posh lipsticks. As many of you know, I am a huge fan of Victoria Beckham products. So of course, when the lippies launched, I of course had to get a few. So I started out with three because I wanted to try the formulas, try the formula first and see if I liked it. And guess what? I'm gonna have to order more so you guys can help me pick some of the other colors because I'm sure some of you have picked these up as well. So the, so the posh lipsticks of course come in beautiful tortoise shell packaging. It's got the V, B little logo on top as it's a nice slender case but it but it's also got a little bit of weight to it so we're gonna open these up and then inside it has been imprinted with a little VB on top of the lipstick of course I love the shape of this you guys it is perfect for my lip size anybody's lip size but these are just super easy to apply these are vegan. These, this is a clean brand. This posh lipstick is described as new level luxury for your lips. It is promising to deliver rich color, deep moisture, soft shine, and a sophisticated design. This is a clean and vegan brand. So of course we love that. Now the colors I picked up were Pose. So I picked it up in Pose. I'm sure this is not going to surprise anybody. Pose is a mid-tone mauve and it pairs well with the lip definer in number two. I also picked it up in Play. So this was the deepest one that I picked up. So this is the shade Play and Play is a rich plum berry. It pairs well with the lip diviner in four or six and I just love that color you guys and as you can see already I don't know if you can see but these are very highly pigmented um, they are very moisturizing and they also grip the lips which I love so there's not going to be any kind of bleeding um, on your lips whatsoever even if you don't wear a lip liner and then of course I had to pick up Sway I'm sure that does doesn't surprise any of you people. This is a mid-tone berry pink and it's going to pair well with the lip definer in number three. Now I have previously purchased two of her lip liners. I have it in shade two and three. Three is my personal favorite but um, Satchmo she had a little bit of fun and ate the end of my pencil, but we can still use this. So what I'm going to do is just lightly line my lips just a little bit using the three because I really want you to see the color sway by itself. But I love number three. I'm going to have to buy another one because of course I don't like the fact that it's chewed on. Satchmo, she is cute, but a little monster. And then let's put on Sway. And this is the shade Sway. So you guys, I love this formula. I was laughing. I had several of you um, DM me on Instagram and say, oh my gosh, you're gonna love these because you got yours before I did and you were absolutely right. 
They grip the lips. They are very long lasting. They have a lot of pigmentation and they just feel fantastic on my lips. So they've got a little bit of that hybrid where it's got a little bit of shine. And of course, I love this shade in Sway because it's kind of in that mauve kind of berry tone. So, so far loving Sway. Next, I'm going to be using the combination of Pose, and it says it pairs well with the lip definer in number two, which I have. So I thought I would just outline my lips just a little bit. Number two, as you can see, number two, if you can see, is just a very natural kind of nude shade, whereas number three definitely has got a little bit of mauve in it. So I'm just going to slightly line, not too much guys, I'm just going to slightly outline my lips. Then I'm going to put on the shade Pose. And here is the shade Pose. This actually may be my favorite one. I thought Sway would be the one, but Pose has got a touch of brown in it. I feel like it's got a little bit of an edge to it, and I just absolutely love this color. And last but not least, we are going to be putting on Play, which is a rich plum berry. Now, it says it pairs well with lip liner number four and six. I do not have either of those. So we're just going to put this on straight on. And you guys, I love this shade. This is really pretty. This one definitely has kind of this fall vibe going on with it. So this is the shade Play. And you guys, these are so rich and buttery um, and it's got a little bit of shine. So even with this darker shade, which again, you guys, you know, I tend to go towards those more neutral kind of shades. I just thought this was a fun kind of color and kind of embracing that fall. Like I can just see kind of a simple eye and then popping on this more bold lipstick. And again, you guys, I acknowledge that many of us are wearing masks, especially when we're going out outside but many of us are also doing zoom calls for work all the time and I have found that this is when I started embracing a little bit more bold lip colors because I felt like it really kind of livened up my complexion and had started noticing that I looked a little bit washed out with some of the more neutral shades. So that is why I have been having so much fun and justifying all my new little lipstick purchases. <laughs> but I have to say these are a true love for me. I love the design of them. I love the feel of them. They are very long lasting. And again, they're more moisturizing kind of that hybrid where it's a little bit balm like um, it's going to stay on my lips but it's and it's not going to slide off whatsoever uh, but it does have longevity as well so the thing about this color is fantastic it's going to wear for hours and then it just kind of stains my lips just a tad so it kind of looks like my lips but you know, a little bit more oomph. And I just find these to be amazing. So guess what? I love them so much. I kind of want to buy a few more colors. When I was initially looking at these, it was the same day that the Lisa Eldridge lipsticks had launched. So it was just sort of a lipstick aroma that morning. And so I only ended up picking up these three, but I do have to say there is several others that I would love to try. So I was going to ask for your help. Which colors do you think I should try? I really enjoy this formula and I can see that I will be using these all fall. So if you have any recommendations, let me know. I know that many of you too pick them up. Let me know what your favorite color is. So you guys, I hope this video was helpful and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day.